Song Scan, a podcast about rock stars and producers who battle over the details of their creative works and defend their music. In order to distinguish which artist is infringing on copyright or intellectual property, we dive into each aspect of the song and situation for our own peace of mind. I'm Des Ibel, and I'm your host for today's episode. In today's show, we sail on our maiden voyage by breaking down one of the early copyright cases in music and sampling. So, of course, landing us in hip hop. We'll be talking about one of my favorite artists growing up in the 90s, the unforgettable and smooth hip hop trio, De La Soul, and how they provided one of the first cases when it was the Wild West of sampling and copyright laws in the early 90s. Greetings, girl, and welcome to my world of phrasing right up to that. Is the Daisy A? These young hip-hop pioneers had no idea what they were in for when they received a lawsuit from Howard Kalin and Mark Bowman, aka Flo and Eddie, former members of the badass 60s group The Turtles. Imagine me and you, I do, I think about you day and night. The Turtles were a Los Angeles-based surf rock group that had a consistently rotating roster, aside from the lead vocalist and frontman Flo and Eddie. The Turtles placed Top 40 on the billboards, one of their first songs being, ironically, a cover of Bob Dylan's It Ain't Me Babe. The band broke off by 1970, and Flo and Eddie found successes in being session musicians. According to Rolling Stone magazine, the Turtles shot a $2.5 million lawsuit to De La Soul in 1991 over the 12-second segment sampled the song You Showed Me and used in De La Soul's 1989 song, Transmitting Live from Mars. Bowman proclaimed that, quote, sampling is just a longer term for theft and that anybody who can honestly say sampling is some sort of creativity has never done anything creative. Uh, Bullshit. <coughs> Originally from Long Island, New York, the boys Posnus, Dave, and Cobalt made up the modest hip-hop group De La Soul and pioneered some of the first MPC and sample-based hip-hop. Most known for their jazz rap and alternative hip-hop classification, De La Soul is known for taking bits and pieces from many works and compiling them into new, mellow, and innovative hip-hop beats. This begs the question, why did the Turtles come down so hard on De La Soul? Was Transmission from Mars really a creative robbery, or a disrespectful misuse of the original song by the Turtles? This brings us to our segment, Toe to Toe. We'll take a listen here in a second and put these songs up together and really break them down to determine if the Turtles were being overprotective of their song or if De La Soul did indeed steal their creativity. Écoutez, à midi. Quelle heure est-il Il est midi. C'est l'heure de déjeuner. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a à manger Des saucisses. Sans doute. Écoutez et répétez. À midi. À midi. À midi. Quelle heure est-il Quelle heure Funny story, true story actually. The song was not written by any of the Turtles. It was actually written by George McKinn and Gene Clark of the Birds. 
To be real, De La Soul used such a small piece to sample. That whole track is layered with so many different bits that it makes it different, yet still pays a sort of respect to the original song. It doesn't ruin it or totally steal like some people. In conclusion, I know everyone has a different stance on sampling and different opinions on fair use in copyright cases. But this comparison is a pretty obvious example of a group reusing almost indistinguishable bits or stabs of an original piece and used in a classy manner to make a new piece of material. In conclusion, I know everyone has a different stance on sampling and different opinions on fair use in copyright cases. But this comparison is a pretty obvious example of a group reusing almost indistinguishable bits or stabs of an original piece and used in a classy manner to make a new piece of material. Regardless, we leave it up to you, the listener, to determine whether you think the artist was indeed robbed of their creativity or if it was used fairly. Let us know what you think. Subscribe below and follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more content. Again, this is SongScan with your host, Des Ibble. Thanks for tuning in.